Today we are celebrating the union of two beautiful people, as I'm sure you're all aware of. This wasn't two separate families planning this wedding. It has been a joint venture of us coming together as one family. My poor husband has had to listen to me every single night tell him, Mark, I don't think I can physically get up in front of all these people and give a speech. I don't think I can physically do it. Well, I'm happy to report I'm here physically doing it. So let's all give a round of applause to alcohol. <laughs> Got a problem with me. <clears throat> Taylor, we've been through it all, whether by choice or not, the good and the bad, and everything in between. She was always impressed me with her calm demeanor and drive for what she wants. She's so articulate and sure of herself. Because of you, I will always have a best friend. Because of you, I will always feel loved and accepted. Because of you, I am me. Taylor has always been the life of the party. She doesn't like drama. And she always been the one extremely social person. And I guess that explains why we have 10 bridesmaids, right? <laughs> Taylor is my proof that sometimes people are just meant for each other. I liked you from the moment I met you. I see how much you love Taylor. You're like an old soul. You do things for Taylor that I do for Tammy. And that makes me love you also. My son has found someone that completes him, that I feel so good as a parent knowing that they're together. It's kind of like the end of this long journey, and it's so comforting. Today is the day I had always been waiting for, the day I get to marry Taylor Thompson. I knew from the very moment I first laid eyes on you that you'd be my forever soulmate. There was something about you that I needed and I wanted. Your smile, your amazing eyes, green, <laughs> your contagious personality, and most of all, the most beautiful girl inside and out. They say that persistence is key, and this is a prime example of what persistence can achieve. You came into my life at the most perfect time. Seven years ago, I was feeling broken and lost, starting a new job, and there you were, your sweet smile and silly jokes making me laugh my first day as the girl at the front desk, because you would call me. And you know what? You guys are so great. I'm just, I'm so happy. I'm so happy for you, Graham, because you waited, you know? You just don't give your heart away to anybody. You gave it away to Taylor. Like I said, I'm honored to provide for you and start a future family together. There is no one else I would prefer to grow old with. It's going to be weird seeing us get all old and wrinkly, you know, but that's what life is about and have someone to do it with. That being said, I will never stop being the best I can be, not only for you, but for our future family as a whole. I'll love you forever, Taylor Marie, soon to be hard. Um, you're both so full of amazing qualities. I know you two are gonna just thrive together. Um, you know, and, and I would say a standout for me, for the both of you, is uh, your inclusiveness. Every single morning when we first wake up, the first thing you tell me is how beautiful I am. I've never been loved as deeply and purely as I am by you. 
God truly knew what I needed when he gave me you. You always joke that your last name has two T's for a reason. <laughs> well, this was the reason, and you really are my answer. You make me a better person and make me whole. I can't wait to do this life with you. I love you. finest people I know. Taylor and Graham Hart. Taylor, you take Graham to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage. You promise to love him, comfort him, honor him, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him for as long as he goes to live. Graham, do you take Taylor to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage. Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her for as long as you both shall live? By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Graham, you may kiss your bride. I want to say is everyone here has a big spot in our heart. I love every, each one of you. I'm honored to have you up here, and you better be honored to be at our fucking wedding. Yeah, you know? So, I don't know. Just saying, if you're not having fun, you better kick it up a gear. So, uh, that being said, love you all. Thank everyone. And watch this. Yeah.